All right, people, welcome back. More card review. We got a ass ton of cards to review. I kind of feel like I'm going too slow, but we'll get them all done eventually. So today we are looking at Magic Expansion. So as you can clearly see by the card art, there's Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. It's another Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl base card, which is totally fine. We played Dark Magician on Daily Duels, and we had a great time, uh, but I never got the opportunity to play uh, the card in the deck. Or... Did I want to play it in the deck is the, it's a better question. So let's go ahead and check this card out. So Magic Expansion is a quick play spell card that reads, Apply these effects in sequence depending on the total number of copies of Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on the field and in the graveyards, period. So if you got that mirror match going on and you both got some Dark Magician action, then, you know, good for you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Dark Magicians, it's a very back row base deck playing a lot during your turn you know it's definitely a, a deck that'll play card of demise uh you know with the dark magic circle and the eternal soul the spot banishing during your opponent's turn and it just navigates okay you know there's a there's a lot of uh a lot of um spells and traps not a lot of monsters i know monster counts really low so you're gonna see probably seen some pod dualities and stuff like that but let's see if this card can help you either bust out dark magician or help with your consistency something along those lines all right so one or more. So, there's one Dark Magician on the field or in either player's graveyard. One Dark Spellcaster monster on the field gains a 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. So, Dark Magician would go up to 3,000. Dark Magician girl go up to 3,000, not including her uh, effect. So, that's not terrible. And it just says Dark Spellcaster, period. So, you can even boost up Sounder Monk if you want, you know. You know, that, that's not terrible. Or your Magician's Rod, you can make your Rod bigger. I mean, they got... They got Pills for that, <laughs> making your rod. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going with this? <laughs> so there you go, there you go. Uh, two or more. So keep in mind, Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl on the field or in either player's graveyard. Uh, this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your spell slash trap cards and effects. Also, uh, and effects. Also, spells and traps you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effect. That's pretty good. That is pretty good because, of course, one of the best ways to stop a Dark Mission deck in its tracks is pop that Dark Magic Circle, pop that Eternal Soul. You handle those two cards, the deck is done. Uh, so it's really easy to go ahead and allow them to do the Dark Magic Circle, and then when they flip with that Eternal Soul, just go, all right, well, activate Chain Twin Twisters, pitch, pop those two, you know? So... Yeah, this card, this card, you know, if you got Dark Magician Girls, Dark Magician, whatever, your opponent cannot activate cards that affect from response to activation of your spell or traps, uh, and effects, so, you know, you cannot chain your, uh, you know, your Dark Magic Circle, and of course, since this is a quick play spell, you can go ahead and chain as well. Also, spells and traps, uh, your control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, so, you go ahead and, uh, have your Dark, uh, Dark Magic Circle, you flip that Eternal Soul to try to summon that Dark Magician to spot banish, your opponent goes chain Twin Twister, you go chain Magic Expansion, if you have two or more, uh, Dark Magicians, either on the field or in the graveyard, which at this point would probably be in the graveyard, and you're trying to summon back one of them from your graveyard with Eternal Soul, I'm assuming, nope. Your spells and traps cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You can't activate anything in response. Just get wrecked. You know, that, that's pretty power. That is, that is uh, pretty power, I must say. Uh, it, that, I, I can see that. All right. And three or more. And this this is the grand finale. This is it. All dark spell caster monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. All right. So, uh, Eternal Soul is just Dark Magician. This is all dark spell casters. I mean, for goodness sakes. Uh, I I can block Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman is unaffected by all my opponent's card effects until the end of turn. But no, in all seriousness, that's okay. I get that. So, uh, that's that's it. That's the end of the card. That's it. That's all for Magic Expansion. So, what do I think of the card? Um, I'm not sure if you guys are subscribed to uh, DPYGO, but the man... The man said it best. Like, it helps you win more, but it doesn't help you lose less. And that is just a perfect quote for this card. While if you're going in, you have all your plays, your Dark Magicians are ready to go, you can go ahead and bust this card out. Sure, more power to you. Get the first effect, get the second effect, get the third effect. You know, in sequence. So if you had three, you get all three effects. That's pretty power. But does it help with getting Dark Magician to your hand? No. For your eternal soul, I mean, for your eternal soul, for your magician to navigate. No. Does it help with your consistency? No. Does it help you revive dark magician? No. Is it really reliant on the fact that you're running dark magician and then, i.e., uh, dark magician girl as well? Which you know, sometimes I only see just dark magician decks. I'm, I mean, you can go ahead and throw in dark magician girl and the dark and the magician girl engine with it, I guess, but you also don't have to as well. You know, you're not reliant on her. You, you can just do a pure dark magician deck. I've done it. 
And, uh, you know, so I would probably have a maximum of three unless I'm dueling against a mirror mat. So, you know, I'd have to have all my Dark Magicians either on the field or in the graveyard ready to go. And, of course, you can send with Foolish and Prisma and Armageddon Knight and all of them great monsters. Because Dark Magician, of course, is dark. So you can get them set in the graveyard. It's just, you know, like I said, this card helps you win more, but it doesn't help you lose less. You know, if you're... You're already in a bind, your opponent's got rid of your Dark Magic Circle, your opponent's got rid of your Eternal Souls, wiped all your monsters, you're struggling, you're top-decking, you draw into this, you're not really doing anything with it. You know, I I think it'd be kind of cool if, like, one of the effects said that you can, like, revive a Dark Magician. Of course, there's other cards that uh, do that, but, you know, just something to help with the consistency. Search your Dark Magician, search one of your uh, Dark Magic uh, Spell or Traps, you know, uh, Dark Magician Spell or Trap cards. Just something to help out, because oh, this is literally just a really offensive card. And not offensive, like offensive, but uh, offensive, like you're going on offense, and it's just, I'm not a big fan of it, you know? I, I find a Dark Nation to be a more meticulous deck, and a card like this, I mean, if I would play one, of course I would play one, you know, I wouldn't play three, that's terrible. It could easily be a bad draw, and, you know, it, it's a very situational card, you know? You gotta have the Dark Magicians ready, or this card is just dead, and, you know, early game, it could definitely be dead, maybe it might do something later in the game, but it's just a win more card, and... Uh, I, I don't need it. You know, I'd rather go with more generic win more cards than this, this, this card that specifically says, like, hey, hey, I, I'm only as good as the Dark Magicians you have in the grave, so. So, I, I, I personally wouldn't be running it in Dark Magician. So, that's probably the reason why you didn't see it, it in the deck on Daily Duels, because I just don't find this card to be, you know, all that great. So, anyway, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Magic Expansion, and uh, if you would run Magic Expansion, how many would you run in your deck? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards. We have so many cards. Like, oh, crap. And like I said, it seems like any freaking uh, card that either Yu-Gi-Oh! or Kaiba wiped their ass with is getting uh, some new form of support. So we're probably eventually going to look at them all, eventually. You know? uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. See you guys next week.